Hi, I'm Dara. I'm here today to show you how we used Fry Captain's combination locks to set up secure, safe deposit boxes in our bank that can actually be used by fellow players. Here's our bank in our little town called East Haven. And let's go inside and see what we've got. We also have public vaults too, in case anybody wants to use those. But to get into the safe deposit boxes, we have to go through the security system. And this is the start of it right here. This is one of uh, Fry's locks. It's his digital programmable combination lock. I can reset the combination on it real easy. Um, but what we do is we enter in our combination on these four number pads. These are set up just like the telephone. So the correct combination for this lock is four, two, one, one. I hit enter, the green button, and can get in this room. And notice the door closes behind me, so hopefully no one can sneak in behind you. Now we're going to enter the combination for one of the private rooms. This is a simpler lock. It's got a simpler interface and that's why it's on the inside is it's not quite as robust as the first lock, but it works just fine. The number for this one is three, four, five, eight, nine. Then I hit my enter button and I can get in. So if you are using this room, you will be set as a customer, which means you will be able to access this chest. And you can also access the vault, so you can rearrange your items in privacy back here where nobody can get your stuff. When you're ready to leave, just click that green button and you're out. Now one of the other security measures that we put in were is, uh, for instance, let's say you enter your combination and decide that you need to leave and you forget to close your door. So let's do that. And then you go, oh, I forgot something. Well, if you don't enter, you haven't crossed the area that we have that tells this door to close. So feasibly, people could get in and get your stuff. So what we've done, let me step back is when this door is opened, any door that is open back here will automatically close. So even if you forget, the next time somebody opens this door, all the doors are closed and your stuff is still secure. And then this door will also close behind you. Just like when you go in, I wanna to try to make that as hard as possible for people to sneak in behind you and get your stuff. So what happens if we enter an incorrect combination? Well, first of all, we that's one of the reasons we give you a digital readout on this one is because there are consequences if you hit uh, incorrect combinations. Try to you know, keep people from trying to do this time and time again. So we've installed a reset button. So if you're putting in the combination and you realize, you know, that's just not it. You can reset by clicking the red button and then just try again, just like normal. But let's say you're actually trying to figure out what the combination lock is. And you're gonna sit here and you're gonna enter numbers and click the button. Ah! Well, you're gonna fall down into our pit. Now, a lot of times you'll get damage. I'm not sure why sometimes I get damage and sometimes I don't but I've gotten from 700 to 1,000 damage from falling down here before. It's because we're right at the bottom of the claim. And honestly, that's fine with me because I want to make it as unpleasant as possible if you decide you would like to spend the afternoon trying to hack into these locks. So if you get damage, that's great. And then once you're down here, you can either evac to safety or you can come through our little labyrinth that Fry set up just the other day. It's still under construction, so it's nothing to look at just yet, but it will eventually look just like the catacombs that it leads into. 
and it's all dark in here so it's not all that easy to traverse twists and turns and then it lets out here in the catacombs and then you have to make your way through the catacombs so hopefully just having to go through all of this or back into safety which can be a pain too hopefully after a couple of tries people will just think it's not worth their time another security measure that we have put in place is that we have put a siren on top of the bank that can be seen from most of the other claims so I could be in another claim over here building and we will be able to see that this light has gone off someday as soon as they add sound effects we would love to add an alarm a real loud alarm there so that anybody who might be on the claim would know immediately when somebody has entered in a wrong combination and if it happens over and over again then they can try to see who is doing this because they can't get off of the claim that fast that we won't be able to hopefully see who it is and hopefully that'll be a lot more use uh, a lot more useful when we have sound effects but it's kind of cool at the very least when I come back from being offline I can see if somebody has tried so that's some information now up here are where we keep the actual locks themselves now this is going to be all closed up with the doors completely locked down to where nobody can even click on them but for right now I wanted to leave it open I'm more than willing for people to come in here and, and try to hack their way in and see if they can break these locks that would be awesome if anybody could let me know if they could do that but in the meantime we're gonna leave them open and at some point they will be locked down so even these will be secure I mean we even have safety glass so you can't even click the buttons so we've done everything we can to make them secure but feel free to come by and check it out anytime you want uh, see if you can get in we're in the gallery under East Haven and uh, thanks for watching